Hi everyone, we're going to be watching another movie together today. Today we're going to be watching a movie that, yes, I have never seen before. I know it's shocking. I know this is a very popular one. So yeah, I've never seen The Green Mile before. This was voted by my patrons to watch, so thank you guys for voting for your favorite movies so that I can experience them too. I'm about to start watching this movie together with everyone for our Patreon movie night, and I think that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy The Green Mile. The Green Mile. Two pieces of dry toast, take to things. Dry and cold, same as always. Cold is better. Especially on those long walks. What do you do up in those hills? Just walk. If I could walk out here, right outside of my house, I'd do that every day too. It's not walk, I can't have nothing. I had six kids walking. Why do we always watch this stuff? All they ever talk about is fucking. <laughs> you all right? Hmm? You look tired. You're not yourself. I had a few bad dreams. It happens. And I'll be fine. All I know is now, this here is worth a look. So that I can hardly speak. I'm in heaven. Oh, no. We've struck a chord. I relate to this so much. I just, I see something that reminds me of something else. And I just start getting like teary eyed. I guess sometimes the past just catches up with you whether you want it to or not. I ever tell you that I was a prison guard during the depression in charge of death row. Usually death row is called the last mile. We called ours the Green Mile. That year, I had the worst urinary infection of my life. PMI. There was also the year of John Coffey and the two dead girls. Ah. This is <laughs> the urinary tract infection. This is like the opposite of a scene that Tom Hanks is uh, in in the, A League of Their Own, where he's pissing up a storm. Pissing razor blades, yeah. Oh. When you work up a sweat just trying to take a piss. Big boy. Jesus, Dead please, man. what is he yelling about? Dead man! Dead man walking! Does he have to keep saying that? Dead man walking here! First thing, enough. I th yeah, I think we all heard you the first 500 times. Can you talk? Yes, I suppose. He looks so scared. Wow, he is like nine How tall is he? Percy, I don't care where you go, Percy, just a moment it's not here. No! <laughs> you bust my finger. I wiped that grin off your shit poke face, didn't I? Little man thinks he's hot stuff, huh? You gonna be nice. He could break them all in half in a second, I bet, if he wanted to. Your name is John Coffey. Like to drink. Only not spelled the same. Questions. Do you leave the light on after bedtime? Because I get a little scared in the dark sometimes. We always keep a few lights burning out in the corridor. Interesting to see the juxtaposition of the small guy who's got a on a power trip and this, this huge giant person, almost inhuman in size and just so timid. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. Right now, I want to hear about this new inmate. Aside from how big he is, okay? He deserves to fry for what he done. Which is... Ah! The girls are gone! Papa, look! Daddy's blood! Kelly! Oh, okay, this is that little scene we had at the very beginning. What in the world ah! happened? Jesus. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. I interrupt. What happened? How? No, just about done. Hey, it's the that'll do pig guy. 
Linda's not so well, Paul. I'll be taking over to Vicksburg next day or so for some tests. She is scared to death. Truth to tell, so am I. The true you ordered Poissy Wetmore off the block? It is. The wife of the governor of this state has only one nephew, and his name happens to be Poissy Wetmore. And? Poissy has an application in a Briar Ridge. The mental hospital. Don't put him with... I don't think he should be working with people like that. I think he just wants to see one cook up close. You give Melinda my love, okay? And show that x-ray turned out to be nothing at all. Maybe a tumor or something. I think I have something. Help you sleep. Still got something wrong with my waterworks. Have you seen Doc Bishop yet? No. It won't run its course all by itself. I don't think that's something you want to just let run its course, right? Yeah, right. It's cute. That guy in the cell, he looks familiar too. Was he in Dances with Wolves? He's in the damn restraint room. Oh, there's no way. Oh, yep. They had to get everything out of there. You let him get past you. Three grown men. How smarted by a mouse. Bright side is, all this commotion probably scared him off for good. Nope. This guy is just chilling. You little son of a bitch. Oh, that's Percy. <laughs> All these guys just playing with a little mouse. I mean, they their job must be quite boring. On on some certain days. Ah! That mouse has like no survival instincts. Get out of there! I'm gonna rip your disease head off. There's something wrong with this guy. It's in here somewhere. I'm gonna squish a little son of a bitch. So, in this little building here, this little section of the prison or whatever, all of these people are on death row? Because if so, that's a lot of people. So scared the living crap out of me and Bill. Not to mention the inmates. They under enough strain as it is. Men under strain can snap. That's why our job is talking, not yelling. You can kiss my ass. All right, pull Don't down your me. pants, you buddy. You ever threaten a man on this block again, we all gonna have a go. Job be damned. Does anybody know the statistics of like, back in this time, would they say it was the depression? Whenever this is, and now, how many Honor. people a year like are Your executed? Are here. Death row. I want at least two rehearsals before he gets back. They have to rehearse. Taking a seat, nose Sparky. What do I do? Watch and learn. Roll on one. Roll on one means I turn the generator up full. You have anything to say before your sentence is carried out? Yeah, but I got to have Mae West sit on my face because I'm one horny motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Quiet, shut up, shut up. We'll be doing this for real tomorrow night. So the guy who's in the chair right now is not one of the death row inmates. Oh, he's just, what's so a trustee? Putting on the black hood. I thought he was rehearsing his own execution for a second. Now, do they have safeties in place that this thing doesn't accidentally get activated? Roll on two. And that's it. I'm a done Tom Turkey. This guy's having a bit too much fun with this. <laughs> shocking experience. <laughs> this guy. Showed up a a mousy? <laughs> oh, this guy. They have to shave their heads on top. For the equipment. I never knew that. I would not want this job. Nope. 
167 executions per year in the 1930s. Wow. Oh, they have that thing over their face. Water dripping down. Oh, no. Electricity shall not be passed through your body until you are dead. And all these people come here to watch? God have mercy on your soul. I don't know if I can. Roll on, two. Jeez. I mean, there were a good few seconds where he was screaming. That was way too long. Again? He's not even dead? Adios, Chief. God. That was a card from hell. Let's know if it's hot enough. It's paid what he owed. So keep a goddamn hands off him. What's up his ass? You. Always. You. We gotta hate the new boy. When he's a dick, yeah. I want brutal spot for next execution. Come on. One time. You be rid of me. I swear. Bobs. Yuck. He's unbearable. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't dim it out, Mouse. Watch what he do. Watch what a mouse do. <laughs> <laughs> He's smart, Mr. Jangles. Mr. Jangles. That is name. We'll see what else he can do. <laughs> no way. He's a circus mouse. And when I get out of here, he's gonna make me rich. When you get out of here. Looks like you find yourself a new friend there, Dale. We ought to find a cigar box. That should do real nice. I don't trust him. I don't like him. Man said get a cigar box. He's gonna kill that mouse. You got a new prisoner coming in here tomorrow. William Wharton. A problem child. Killed. Three people in the hold up. One of them a pregnant woman. Oof. Bad news all around. Miranda? It's a tumor, Paul. Hmm. Malignant? It's the size of a lemon, they said. That's big. I can't think how to tell my wife she's going to die. Oh. Well, he doesn't look like oh, he's dope to the gill. gonna be a problem. You've been declared competent, mm -hmm. son. Means you're gonna ride the lightning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Did they lobotomize him or is he just pretending to be not mentally capable so that he'll get off the hook? Boss, you don't look so good. I need to see you down here, boss. This poor guy. He needs to go to the doctor like last week. Come on. Oh. Oh. Not there. Not right now. Come on, Percy. You wanted some action? Are you scared? Come on, Percy. Come on, Percy. There we go. Oh, so Percy's only big and tough when people can't fight back at him. Hmm. Come on, Dean. Oh, get him. Let's see you coming. Oh, man, that guy messed them up. We thought he was doped. You didn't ask. Yeah, Dean and Harry looked at make sure they're all right. What about you? You're about ready to collapse. Ah, uh, I got the mile. Till you all come back. Get to the doctor. I think I'll just, I'm just gonna lie down right here. Boss, I need to see you down here. <laughs> this is not a good time. Not a good time at all. But I need to see you, boss. What do you want, John Coffey? Just to help. <laughs> what is he doing? What are you doing? What in the world just happened?
Uh. Didn't I help it? I just took it back, so off and tired my boss. The whole time. He took it back. He tried to take it back. So I did happen to see when I was loading this up that one of the tags was fantasy. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that he has some kind of special powers. <laughs> this is the best pee of his damn life. <laughs> so I think that he did not kill those girls, but he was trying to heal them, save them somehow. How you feeling? Oh, not too bad. What are you doing? What does it feel like? Feels great. Daddy O's back oh. in business. Oh. 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 Goddamn miracle worker. Still going at it? We haven't gone four times in one night since we were 19. Four times? So it seems like it's possible that this guy not only healed his uh, infection, but went back in time. Right. We got some company. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Lost a few clients your way. I'd like to ask you about one of them. Now you got my curiosity around. Oh yeah, there's a lot of arousal going on here lately. Coffee. Causing you problems? No, no. Can't say he is. I read the court transcript. I've wondered if he ever did anything like that before. Might be easy enough to follow his back trail. Can't be that hard to trace. <laughs> Believe me, we tried. Like he dropped out of the sky. Even a giant like Coffee wouldn't get noticed everywhere he goes until he kills a couple of little girls. I know, violent man. Mr. Hammersmith, I deal yeah. with him day in and day out. Yeah, he works with him too. You came up here to see if I think he did it at all. Do you? We had us a dog. Just a sweet mongrel. Hey, come here for a second. Oh. He still has the one good eye. A dog attacked my boy for no reason. Just got it in his mind one day. Same with John Coffee. But John Coffee is not a dog. And how do you know that the dog wasn't in provoked? Is Coffee guilty? Yes, he is. Oh, Wilma. Smelling me some cold bread. It's from my missus. She wanted to thank you for helping me. Helping you with what? <laughs> my dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. What's your missus, please? Several times. Several times. <laughs> Did he actually tell his wife about that? Can I get deal, Mr. Jacobson? You can do with it as you please. Hey, what about me? As you please. I think I'll just keep the rest. Deep. Yeah, you keep the rest. <laughs> you keep the rest. What about me? Don't you hold that on me, you big Nobody. Dummy. Nobody <laughs> owes you nothing. You'll keep a civil tongue on my block. Hey. Ah. <sighs> Miss our old cell block. Cellmate. What the fuck? Good shot, weren't it? Son of a bitch <laughs> pissed on me. Y'all wanna come on in here? Just a little. You can shine my knob for me while you're in. <laughs> what does Tifa say? She'll smash him. <laughs> Piss on me. Ooh, that is some pressurized water. <coughs> that hurts. Straight jacket and all. Oh, you just never know what you're gonna get when you come to work every day on the green mile. <laughs> That's for sure. I do think that this guy. I mean, he seems quite dangerous, but Ew. he might actually like need some, some mental help. Or is he just an oh, asshole? Me a little cornbread, you motherfuckers. That's not how you get cornbread. Hey, dude, you gonna go for that moon pie? Mmm. 
That looks good. Is he gonna pretend it's poop? <laughs> Hope your bags are packed. What a waste of a perfectly good moon pie. No, 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 no. Well, eventually he's got to stop, right? He was pretty rich. Don't gotta give him that. <laughs> hey, I'll grab a few things. Foreign folks heard about your mouse. Want to see him perform? You fellas coming? No, we. All right, rehearsing now. Is it his time? So. Oh, I love Mr. James. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Oh, now I was just having... Ah! 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 Soft like a girl. Let him go. Fuck your asshole. Then oh, just what? Pussy, I think. What? <laughs> oh. Hey, you don't piss it, man. <laughs> what more good name for you? <laughs> That's a good one. There's just such a really strange vibe in this in this place. How could a boy be trusted, Mr. Jenkins? How about Mouse Bill? Tours of her acting down in Florida. Tallahassee, I think. They got this big tent you go into. You'll have to pay. Well, you shit me. Of course you pay. Dime a piece. Two cents for the kids. Plus, they got the Mouseville All-Star Circus. You're gonna be a sick as mouse like dog. No, 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 no. No! No! Oh. No! God. No! 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 why? Well, I knew I'd get him sooner or later. Mr. Jingles. Aw. He was gonna go to Mouseville. Oh. Uh, Even the maid might still be tired. Oh. Yeah, those girls died and he was trying to save them. Come on. <laughs> it's like he takes the the sickness and the death and the disease and into his own body and then Oof. yo he's an angel take that percy fucker what'd you do i hit dale's mouse your circus mouse and circus mouse city boss percy bad me. Yeah, he is mean. I took it back though. Took it back. See, they subverted our expectations on what he meant by I tried to take it back. Making it seem like he did something and then he tried to something that he wanted to undo to those girls. But that's not the case. And while Delacroix will you step forward? Don't let nothing happen but Mr. Jango, okay? Gonna take him to Florida to that mouth view? We'll do it together, most likely. You're a good man, boss. You too, boss. I sure wish I could have met you guys some ways out. It's sad that the people that um, would struggle the most, like, having this job are the ones that need to have this job. The people that, that care, that have, like, humanity. Hope he's good and scared. Hope he knows the fires are stoked and that Satan's imps are waiting. This is an angry crowd. And there's Percy. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, and Percy's got to read his... Percy's got to be the one to tell him his sentence. 
The last voice you hear is this jerk who broke your fingers. It's a big crowd. What did he Roll do? On one. You be still, Mr. Jenkins. You have anything to say before sentence is carried out? I'm sorry for it. I'm sorry for what I do. I give anything to take it back. Don't forget about Mouthfield. Hey, there's no such place. That's just a fairy tale these guys told you to keep you quiet. Percy, stop it. Get him out of here. I don't care who he's related to. Now what? No, wait. If there's no water, does that mean it doesn't work as well? And he'll suffer more? I'm about to turn this movie off. No drips. Come on. Notice it. Dry nothing. Roll on two. Wait. Oh! That's fun to try. God damn, it's fun to try. What, do, what do they do? Don't you do it. It's too late for that. Jesus. I didn't know the sponge is supposed to be wet. Yeah, you did, you <laughs> fucker! What in the blue fuck was that? I didn't know the sponge is supposed to be wet. Percy fucked up, Hal. Pure and simple. On purpose. He's putting in for Transfer request to Briar Ridge tomorrow. Is that right, Percy? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah. You okay? I can feel it from here. He out of the die, though. He the lucky one. Dale, the lucky one. Who else? Mr. Jane. He ran away under the door. Didn't mean to hurt him, none. All that hurt just fell out. So many questions about how his powers work. Like, why did he feel Dell's pain? Oh. He's got a tough job. That's for damn sure. I never noticed him being connected to somebody from such a distance before. Was it because of the Mr. Jingles? Or just because they had like a, a friendship with each other? Like a emotional or spiritual connection? Look at you. She's having one of her good days. Sometimes she's she's not herself anymore. She swears to hear her say them in her sweet voice. This is a tough movie. Well, you sure do know how to cook chicken. Well, thank you. Y'all saw what he did to the mouse. You're thinking about Melinda. I think there might be a chance. 
tell us what you had in mind. Oh boy. You think this is enough? Is that for what's his name? Oh. For Percy? Oh, Percy, what are you? Okay. I mean, no judgment. I mean, if they're gonna drug somebody, it's gotta be Percy and that other guy in the other cell block. This guy. I'm gonna get some too, ain't I? Come on, boss. I hope they know what they're doing. What if he overdoses? No, nope, he's not acting this time. What about this guy? They're gonna put him in the padded room? It's a lot of lead pot. Oh, pussy. Oh, now they have what? Blackmail on him? They do have a lot of things to blackmail on him. He didn't step in when the guy was getting choked. He pissed himself and this. I'll give you a few hours of quiet time, Percy, so you can reflect. Just think about Miss Leadpipe. <laughs> we go for the ride now. <laughs> You're a bad man. Well, that guy didn't stay knocked out for very long, did he? You're a bad man. Hmm. like he can sense people's auras like their intentions they have good or bad intentions they don't have them in any restraints or anything look at him touching grass you know where we're taking you tonight hippa lady but how do you know don't know tell the truth boss i don't know much of anything well he knows a bunch of things that nobody else can know and i wonder if that's why he struggles with other things because he's so bombarded with all these other sensory like things all the time boss look someone's up oh christ paul what were we thinking so what is their plan are, are they going to talk to hal we are here to help help what just to help boss that's all. You can't. No one can. I just don't think that their plan was very good. Don't you go in there. The, like, they should at least try to explain. Like, they're just, like, not saying anything. This huge ass, like, convict on death row is walking into his dying wife's bedroom. I'm surprised he didn't just shoot him right there. He does not look good. What's your name? John Coffee Man. Like to drink. A spell different. She <laughs> looks like she's about to drop dead right here. I see it. I see it. Whoa. He's gonna be dog tired after this one. Oh, she already looks better. Come on, John. Come on. Pop it out like you done before. Did I have the x ray? It was clear. There was no tumor. Something to he turns back time in a sense too. I dreamed you were wandering in the dark, and so was I, and we found each other. Take it, John. It's a present. <laughs> he still didn't cough that stuff up. Thank you, John. I give him a few days. If that's his choice, he's earned it. Let's just get him back on the model. If that's his choice, he's earned it. Yeah, he did say that Dell was one of the lucky ones. Mm. 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 You deserve to be punished for what you did to Dell. You accepted like a man. We'll also see you beaten within an inch of your life. We know people too. 
Let bygones be bygones. Hmm? So just leave. Be on with your life. What is he doing? Was he saving that for... Pr he was saving it for him. He was saving it for Percy. Percy. That's payback for what you did to Dell. Is he gonna drop right there? What the fuck is happening in this movie? What? I punished them bad men. Why? He did it. When he grabbed my arm, I saw what Wild Billy done. Take my hand, boss. You see for yourself. Oh? No. Some... Weird stuff happening around this guy. I'd I'd hesitate. People dropping dead, shooting each other. Uh -huh. The gift of what's inside of me, so you can see for yourself. Okay, the two little girls. <gasps> no way. So he knew, that's when he knew, when Billy touched you know, him's arm. That's the way it is every day. This is a messy situation. Son, I think this boy's cheese slid off his cracker. <laughs> Does this have anything to do with what happened in my house? How do you even answer that? No. I mean, sort of, yes, sort of, no. <laughs> Ugh. Well, he went to Briar Ridge just like he wanted. This is the first time I've ever felt real danger of hell. Talk to John. Find out what he wants. It sounds like living is hell for him because he's i don't know he he just sees all the bad in the world hello john i guess you know we're coming down to it now <sighs> so when they go here they probably don't stay for very long their their time their time is pretty close i have to ask you something very important now tell me what you want me to do you want me to take you out of here would you do such a foolish thing on the day of my judgment, when I stand before God, and he asks me why did I, did I kill one of his true miracles, what am I going to say? That it was my job. You tell God the Father it was a kindness you done. Tired of being on the road, lonely as a spell in the rain. Mostly I'm tired of people being ugly to each other. Can you understand? Man. Yes, John. This just doesn't you. seem fair, though. I mean, I know life isn't fair, and this is a strange circumstance. It must be something that you want. I ain't never seen me a flick of show. He wants to see a movie? Oh, this is the movie. So oh, this is the movie from the beginning. Angels, angels just like up in heaven. All right, good movie. I think that's all we need to see. I think that's it. Roll credits. Be all right, fellas. There's lots of folks here hate me, like bees stinging. Feel oh. how we feel that. But we don't hate you. Kill him twice, you boys. My 
off your face before you stand up, Dean. Yes. Roll on one. Well, thank God Percy's not here. Do you have anything to say before sentence is carried out? I'm sorry for what I am. Don't put that thing up on my face. Don't put me in the dark. All right, y'all. But, but then they have to see. Oh, come on. Stabbing me in the heart like this. Oh, God. Electricity shall now be passed through your body until you are dead in accordance with state law. May God have mercy on your soul. Gotta keep it together. <laughs> this guy can't. Oh, this guy too. <sighs> you gotta say it. It's like he's, he's the one pulling the trigger. Have peace. Roll on two. I'm glad they're not showing too much of it. Mr. Jingles? Mr. Jingles. <laughs> well, uh, how long do mice live? Is he a special mouse? Go on. You can do it. I think when we electrocuted Dale, uh -huh. well, John could feel that, you know. And I think a part of whatever magic was inside of him just slipped into my tiny friend here. Yeah. As for me, when he took my hand, a part of the power spilled into me. I'm 108 years old, Elaine. Whoa. I've had to see my friends and loved ones die off through the years. Hal and Melinda. Oh. Uh, Who's Hal? Uh. Oh, my boy, you'll die too. It's my atonement, you see. It's my punishment. For killing a miracle of God. Oh, I'll die eventually. But I will have wished for death. I wish for it already. And I think about all of us walking our own green mile. We each owe a death. But oh God, sometimes the green mile seems so long. I don't know what to say. What the hell? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching The Green Mile with me. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. When I finished watching this, I was kind of speechless. I really didn't know what to say. First of all, three hours of movie is a lot to try to remember everything. And I wasn't really sure if I liked it, like what I really thought about it. And so I edited this video and I figured I will have things to say when I'm done editing, I'm sure. And I still kind of am struggling to find words about this one. It left me feeling kind of really empty. But I think one of the things that I'm struggling with is I 
am not a religious person. Without going into too many details, I just think I have a little bit of trouble connecting with these kinds of themes around miracles, angels, the will of God, the plan of God. Not to say that, you know, that was all the movie was about because it was about so much more, but I'm going to need your guys' help on some of these more spiritual themes and matters that are happening in this movie. Some of the things that I really did enjoy about this movie was the acting. Of course, Tom Hanks is amazing. He had a great supporting cast as well. The characters themselves were very well thought out. There were quite a few characters, um, lots of different guards that were working on the Green Mile. We had some of the different prisoners and other people as well, Hal and his wife. And there were a lot of really colorful, memorable characters in this movie. Of course, John Coffey. I really loved Dell. His character was super interesting. A very flawed person, but quite likable. Hard to say if he was a good person or not. But then again, people aren't really that black and white anyways. We don't really know what he did. At least I don't know what he did to get on death row. But they really brought out the humanity of him, like making you realize that even though he's done some terrible things in his past, he still has some good qualities in him. He's got tenderness, compassion towards others, wants to take care of somebody, such as Mr. Jingles. He has a pretty good sense of humor a lot of the time too. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we have Percy, who is a character that's so easy to just really hate with a fiery passion. And as the villain of this story, essentially, he needs to be somebody that you can really just despise. Because this isn't like good guys and bad guys. It's not some kind of fairy tale where there's like a wicked witch. They're, they're people. These are just people. And Percy just happened to be a person that had a really messed up brain. And unlike pretty much all the other characters in this movie, about zero compassion for anybody else, only caring about himself, and so far as wanting to hurt other people awful. Of course, we can't forget about Billy the Kid. He was probably worse than Percy. Now that guy was totally, totally messed up. I don't think he had all his screws in tight. This movie really did make me feel a lot of things, especially with Dell's execution. That was the worst, worst, worst part for me. Just it was not only really incredibly sad, but it was just so gruesome, so violently horrible, really difficult to watch. And then we come to John Coffey. And this is where things get really tough for me. John Coffey's story, his life, is full of pain. He didn't do anything wrong to anyone. There's this saying that I used to hear, Quite a bit when I was in school, which was life sucks and then you die. And I don't really believe that. I just think it's an incomplete way of looking at things because yes, life is hard. Sometimes it sucks, but there are good things. We all have our good days and bad days. There's always something to live for. There's always hope. And what I am really struggling with is that John had no hope for something better. At least not on this earth, not on this mortal realm, right? All he wanted was to be happy himself, to bring happiness to others, to help others, and nobody could help him. The only thing that anybody could really ever do was to treat him like a human being, which a lot of people did not, and to end his suffering. That's tough for me. 
When I think about the death of John Coffey, it, it's just, it's, it's horrible to think about because his life and his death, they're, I'm struggling to find the meaning in it. And this is where I need you guys to help me. A lot of times in stories, the hero will sacrifice themselves to save someone else. They will die fighting maybe an epic battle, or maybe they will have lived a good life and then overcome by some kind of sickness or old age or something. But John, John, what did John have? What did John have for himself? He had no one until the end. He found friends, but it was already too late then. And then those were the people that had to flip the switch, stand there and watch. It was a kindness that they were doing, but it destroyed them. Paul, brutal, they couldn't do it anymore. And then Paul suffered so much, he's still suffering. But what other choice did he have? And he gets punished? And he has to carry this guilt for the rest of his extremely long life because he did this kindness for John Coffey? If he didn't do it, John would have died soon anyways. Like Paul was saying, if he let him go, he would be on the run. They would catch him anyways. This movie hurt my head. Oh, what a really just amazing experience this has been. Difficult. Very difficult. Not all movies need to be easy. Not all movies need to be understood the first time you watch them. Or even the second time. But this movie made me laugh, made me cry, made me grit my teeth in frustration, and I was thoroughly entertained. I so can't wait to read all your comments about this one. And I know you guys will be able to help me appreciate and understand some of the nuances, some of the messaging. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of symbolism in there as well. And I just really can't wait. This has been a pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. And that's really all I have to say. And I wish I had more, but wow. I think it's something that like, you know, you've got to watch it. You got to watch it again and again and again. And every time you'll understand a little bit better and you'll notice things and yeah. Thank you again. I'm rambling. I'll see you guys in the next movie, in the next video, wherever it may be. Take care and bye bye.